Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up! Wake up! Grab brush and put a little makeup! I just have to fade away the shit! Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Nice Guy, and today we are here playing Breath of the Wild and we're gonna be doing another if I take damage, this video ends challenge. We did this in Link's Awakening already, but today we're going to be doing this in Breath of the Wild, you know. I figured there's nobody who's done that challenge before. It's not like everybody's done it on YouTube before. This is a completely original idea. I just came up with myself. I'm the only person to ever do this. Nobody else has ever done this before. But we're going to be doing this in Breath of the Wild. If I take damage, video is going to end. Yada, yada, yada. Completely original idea. I get it. I'm so, I'm so smart. I just got this new iPhone 24. It's really cool, guys. So look at this, guys. They took away the headphone jack. We don't even have a charging port anymore. There's no USB or a lightning adapter port. You just, uh, it just kind of like never runs out of battery. Crazy. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Nah, Zelda. I'm not the light. You're the light because you light up my world, girl. Wink, wink. Hey, don't you guys just hate it when somebody is in the middle of talking and saying something important and then just gets cut off? Like, personally, I think that- Alright, well, we're finally at the fun part of this game. Enough of that- This cave, whatever. We've been in there for a hundred years. Ready to get out and stretch my legs a little bit. So, we got this old guy over here. It's been, like, a long time since I've actually played the, uh, very beginning. The Great Plateau area. In Breath of the Wild, but this is like one of the best parts of the game, honestly. Um, I think there's no reason to talk to this guy. And there's no reason for me to get healing items either, because we're not gonna be taking damage at all in this entire video. We can probably beat the game, you know, and just in this video. It might be a long video, because I'm still good at this game. Like, you know, I did the going straight to Ganon thing. I'm kind of like the best Breath of the Wild player of all time. I could probably do this blindfolded, it's so easy. I think that's a decent weapon. Six damage, it's gonna break in like five hits, just like every single weapon in Breath of the Wild, so that should be fun. Uh, hopefully in uh, Breath of the Wild 2. I, I do like the um, the combat system a bit. I, I think that could work, be a little, uh, you know, tweaked uh, with the weapons breaking. I think it's a good idea to mix and match, you know, your weapons so you don't stick with the same weapon the entire time. But I think uh, weapons break a little too quickly in this game. Maybe they could just... Increase the durability overall on all weapons. That would be nice for Breath of the Wild too. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Alright, I get it, Zelda. You miss me. Should we just, like, avoid enemies? <laughs> Maybe for a little bit. I don't want to take damage. We'll see how far we can go. Like I said, we'll be able to, be able to, be able to beat the entire game. I'm so good at this game. Going straight to Ganga, here I am. In the flesh. Uh, but I kind of want, like, isn't there armor here? We're kind of naked right now. Yeah, there's a chest there. Alright, maybe we just be really sneaky right now. Put on the Metal Gear Solid music. It would be Snake. My name is... Elf Boy Snake. Okay, never mind. Get out of here. And I believe this is, yep, yeah, this is some, uh, pants. So I don't want to put those on. Zelda might get the wrong idea. Oh, we didn't even equip our first, um... You know what? Screw it. This is gonna be a naked run. I, I I take it back. We're not taking damage anyways. We don't need armor. You know, if if uh, YouTube demonetizes this video for nudity, that's on them. You know, maybe my female viewership will increase due to having a cute boy in minimal clothing. Oh, and who, who's to say female viewership? You know, how about the gay community? My gay viewers out here. You guys like Link with minimal clothing? They might like that too. Right, these guys see me. I think they want a piece of my Link with my without any clothing on it. I probably look pretty tempting to them. Can I run past this guy and just like ignore him? Should I get weapons? Like I'm not too sure what I should do for this playthrough. It's only gonna be like one episode long. <laughs> I could also take fall damage right here, so maybe I want to be careful about that. Oh my gosh. I think, um, the tower liked that Link wasn't wearing clothes a little too much right here.
This is how we distribute data in the future. Just through, like little drops of energy. Is that a new feature of my iPhone, what did I say, 24? You know what's funnier than 24? 25. <laughs> okay, so this could actually be a uh, scary part where I could actually, it's an actually like, twice in the same sentence. It's not good. I need to work on my talking abilities, but I could take damage here if I screw this up. Luckily, I think this is pretty simple stuff. You know, these are just giant staircase, you know? One small step for Link, a giant step for mankind. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Um, yeah, I'm kind of going straight there. Straight to Ganon, not taking any damage. This video right here. A paraglider? Why don't you just hand it over, man? Um, there's no such thing as a free item. I kind of just stole, like, every item that I have on me right now. And my iPhone 24 was just kind of sitting there on a pedestal for me to grab. All free. Didn't pay for it. I think a free paraglider would be, uh, kind of nice. So, when I was trying to think of this video, I was like, maybe we should do something funny, like, where it's really short. And it's, this video ends if I climb in Breath of the Wild. And if you know, inside of the, um, Shrine of Resurrection, that cave right there, to get out of it, you have to climb. So, the video would have ended, like, right there. I thought that would have been kind of funny. But, uh, people have beaten this game without climbing. I'm pretty sure I've seen YouTubers do it. Somebody do it on YouTube. I didn't really want people, like, in the comment section being like, You could've just done this, and you wouldn't have to climb. Blah, 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 you know? Stuff like that. All that. For a drop of clout. Alright, well, we have our first rune. Magnesis. Pretty simple. Um, do we really want to play it that safe and go down the ladder link? Because it just jumped. However, there is an enemy in the shrine here I am a little scared of. It's like a little... Little dude, robot guy, Wally, over here. I also don't want to get killed by this game's physics engine. <laughs> Something land on me. Right, this boy right here. Do we, do we dare use Magnesis on him? Or... Oh my gosh. Hey buddy, do you want to just not hurt me at all? I really appreciate that. There we go. Look at that. I'm not, not worried at all. Not, not, not worried at all. No fear. I had to say not like three times just to put emphasis on how not afraid I am. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Wait, can, can we beat the shrine without using that thing? What if we go like here, climb up on here? Do you think we can make that jump? Oh, we did it! Nice. Doing things a little unintentionally. I'll take it. I'll also take this as well. And the old man said no such thing as a free... What do you say? Free item in this world? Getting one right now. Oh, it's the Sheikah Gang putting up more gang signs. Yeah, Sheikah Gang, gang Sheikah Gang, Sheikah Gang, Sheikah Gang. gang. Alright, first shrine down. That was easy. It's almost like I played this game before. Paraglider, please. I need it. Slow down. No, gotta go fast. There's a new Sonic movie coming out. Can't miss it. Paraglider, please. <laughs> I have yet to finish speaking. Oh my gosh. Link could be kind of sassy and rude in this game. Paraglider, please. Paraglider, please. That wasn't the deal. Give me the paraglider, please. Around from a high point, I have to get the high ground. Oh, this isn't Star Wars. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Are you choking? Because if you are, that was a terrible joke. No one was laughing. What? How? How did this guy get up here before me? He was just down there, and I just teleported. Can you teleport too? Oh my gosh. Great lighter, please. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're up here, we have to survey the area and uh, look for the remaining shrines where I am such a good at ob observe. Did you guys see that texture is like super unloaded right there? Hmm, I've actually never noticed like a really low res texture in this game. And we're gonna put some uh, bacons on them. Not beacons, bacons. We went over this already in a previous video. I almost thought I was gonna take damage there. Called Bacons, not Beacons. That's how you say it in a Hylian. 
Get it right, guys. Get it right. I wonder if anyone had done these shrines in like a different order, because I feel like most people go from here to here to here. It just kind of makes sense, you know? Well, luckily, this is not master mode, so we don't have to worry about that Lionel that uh, would be looming in the distance over there. But what we do have to worry about is this little guardian over here. Isn't there like even a cutscene or something? Hey, look, a chest here. I've never seen this chest in my whole life. I'm just kidding, I totally knew where that was the entire time. That was intentional. Best Breath of the Wild gamer of all time, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are being privileged to be able to watch this quality content and gameplay right now. Where the heck is this guy? Do we have? A, we don't have a shield. It would've been kind of fun to kill this guy. Just to show off, you know? But uh, I'm just gonna actually stay completely clear of him. Hello, this is uh, Tim Apple from Apple. And as you can see, our new iPhone 24 is uh, waterproof, as we will show right now. Look at that. Completely waterproof. Still works. Alright, so now we have the bombs. Let me tell any, all of you who are watching this video right now, you guys have the bomb. Actually, wait. What's in here? Probably a chest, I think. Now, let's not blow ourselves up. I did that quite a lot in my Trial of the Swords video, the beating trials. Go watch that. And if you guys want to watch me do this on Link's Awakening, uh, I'll pro probably put like a link to that as well in the description or something like that. Or maybe, a, is it a card on the top right of the screen? I, I rarely ever use that feature on YouTube. And I think, oh, well, we can't launch ourselves across. There's also a ladder, like, right there. Don't take damage. Ooh, I got scared. I thought I was going to take damage for a second. I'm like, I do not have a glider. I got a little scared that I was about to kill myself. But uh, luckily, apparently, when you get launched by those things, you just don't take any fall damage. That's fun. I know there's a chest in here. Don't yell at me in the comment section. I'm not getting in it. All right, well, there we go. Completed the second shrine of the video end. Now, this is so easy, guys. We can completely beat this game without taking damage right here, right now. I think it's a little too easy. A little lacking in the action-packed combat department. So, maybe we take on uh, a Bukawan camp. See how that goes. Alright, maybe we whistle run once in our lives. Oh, gosh, wait. They just heard me whistle. Don't whistle run, okay, guys? It ruins your, ruins your stealthiness. Which everyone knows is the most important thing in this game. Hey, guys! Party's here! Did I kill somebody? Almost. Was it a two-handed sword? I thought this was one hand. I do not like how this has so many explosive barrels here. Um, I'm just gonna run away from those. Does this guy have a bow? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. You swing. Swing. I bet you won't. We're slow, man. We're slow. I was trying to flurry rush for once in my life. And you were like, swing. Swang. That like the past tense of swing. I just swang. This guy over here. Does this guy have a bow? I think he might. He's throwing rocks at me. Gosh, this guy better not have... Okay, good well, Good thing his aim is not as good as those, um... What are they called? Those little, like, Octorak dudes. His aimbot That's all I know. Awesome, keys. Get out of here. This guy's on the best. At combat and breath of the... Okay, this guy has the bow. Hey, you. Don't do that. Thanks for listening. And that will be it for my TED Talk. And in the distance, you can see our next target with the blue bacon on it. Blue bacon? Is that like blueberry flavored bacon? Kinda sounds bad. So like moldy bacon. And now, I'm sorry, Mr. Beast, but uh, I'm gonna cut down some trees. I know Team Trees just kind of reached their goal there and all that. Um. But it looks like you're gonna be down one tree. That's kind of a nice detail. When Link walks across that, he like balances himself by putting his arms out. That's cute, that's cute. Start things off with a bang. Aha! Okay, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh! I was using a two-handed sword. What am I doing? Two-handed weapon, so... I like... Didn't have a sh shield up when I thought I did. And I almost took damage there. Well, now I gotta do is this climbing. This part's kind of annoying and long, kind of boring. Quality content right here. All right, Link, not bad, not bad. You know, you've been asleep for a hundred years. I kind of expected your stamina to be a little bit better than this. You know, you just got a lot of rest. Wait, did I just? 
It might be a long video because I'm still good at this game. Like, you know, I didn't do going straight to Ganon thing. I'm kind of like the best Breath of the Wild player of all time. I could probably do this blindfolded. It's so easy. I'm so good at this game. Going straight to Ganon guy. Here I am. In the flesh. Straight to Ganon. Without taking any damage. This video right here. Gosh dang! <laughs> I didn't mean to jump there. Shoutouts to Aiden, Amro, Delana, Lauren, Madeline, Karan, Mr. Will, Roko, Rafi, LOL the Robot, Stevie Williams, Breddy J, Orange Cola, Anna, Allie, and Sarah for either supporting me on Patreon or being a member on my channel.